Sunday morning definitely calls for a coffee. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back and happy birthday if today's your birthday. It's currently 7.59 and I have an 8 a.m. call this morning, so that's what we're getting on. I did not bring myself to get dressed though, so we're going in in a sweatshirt. I think it'll be fine. These early morning calls, you know. Good morning. Hi team, I can say a better good morning now, so hello. <laughs> It is, I think, around 10.30 now. I have that first call, and then I have another call at noon, but that's it for calls today, which is nice. My first call of the day did send me for a bit of a loop, so I think this next call is going to be very interesting. Anyway, it is Monday, and um, I am just about to work on placing a grocery order, which is why I have my laptop in here in the kitchen with me. That way we have stuff for the week. I never ended up grocery shopping last week. We just were having a really busy week, and... I was like, whatever, we'll just use what we have left. But it is certainly time to go grocery shopping now. I almost never have two coffees, but it just, it feels like one of those days today. It really does. So I'm gonna work on this, but I'm going to cut back to something that I filmed a couple days ago. I was originally going to vlog all weekend long and then I just didn't. <laughs> but I did film a little try on haul for you guys that I definitely wanna keep in the video. So I'm gonna cut back to that now and I will see you guys after. It is a absolutely freaking gorgeous, perfect day in LA today. It feels so nice and warm in the sun. It's not too windy, which it's been really windy lately. But I thought it would be fun to kind of kick off this vlog with a try on haul for you guys because I just got a ton of new spring clothes in all from Princess Polly which big thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video they are legit one of my favorite stores ever and I kind of feel like I manifested working with them because literally the morning that they reached out and asked if I wanted to work together I had just filled up an entire cart on Princess Polly and was like debating what I wanted from it and then they reached out and I was like it's kind of serendipitous you know I bought my birthday dress from this year from Princess Polly, which I was obsessed with. I mean, it's just so good. I, you guys know. <laughs> and I also could not have come at a better time because I feel like recently I've been having a bit of a crisis, a fashion crisis, which is like so first world problems. <laughs> but seriously, you guys, I feel like I don't know how to dress myself. I like don't know what my personal style is supposed to look like. I'm just lost. Every time I look in my closet, I'm like... I don't even know where to begin here. So again, this could not have come at a better time, which is why I'm just excited to just kick off this video immediately with this because it's what I'm most excited to share with you guys. I also have a discount code for you guys, which is going to be Jill20 for 20% off. Princess Polly ships really quickly within the United States, usually three to six days. And all orders ship for free that are over $50, which I just absolutely love. And Princess Polly offers afterpay and shop pay for anyone who is shopping within the United States. And let me tell you, they had the cutest spring pieces. I was absolutely dying. It was so hard to choose what I wanted legitimately. Okay, let's just get into this haul. I guess we'll start with this top that I'm wearing because this is from Princess Polly. It's a bodysuit and I could not be more obsessed with this. It's so comfortable and I love how the bottom is kind of see-through. I just feel like it adds so much to it. It has this gorgeous texture to it. This is definitely something that I see myself living in during the spring and summer. And the next thing I want to show you guys is this sweater. Some of you may have seen seen this in my last video but this is probably one of my favorite things that I got in this entire haul it is incredibly soft ridiculously soft the color is gorgeous it's just kind of the perfect chunky knit sweater for spring I just can't get enough of this oh my god I was gonna say I'll be living this again but literally I think that I'm gonna be living in everything that you're about to see in this haul so prepare yourself <laughs> Oh, also, this is not like a talking point from Princess Polly. It's just something that I saw and really liked. But they had this little note in here that they are transitioning to 100% recyclable packaging, which is so amazing. Every single store should be doing this. And I just love that I'm partnering with a brand that is. I knew that I really wanted just a simple black mini skirt for spring. So this is the one that I picked up from Princess Polly. It's actually a linen material, which feels really nice and lightweight, super versatile. I just feel like this is something that you can style and wear a million ways, dress up, dress down. And I love the versatile piece in my closet. I also knew that I wanted to spice up my dress collection because I've actually cleared out most of the dresses from my closet. I just was not feeling them anymore and wanted some new ones. So here's the first one I got. I love the print on this, the cute little mini flowers. And I also love the texture of kind of that ribbing going through the whole thing. Very into the tube top vibe right now. So tube top 
dress, tube dress, I don't know. <laughs> But I mean, come on, absolute perfection for spring. Next are these shorts. I love the cut of them. I love the length. I think the color is really unique and fun. They don't have anything like them, so that's what kind of drew me to them. We have another cute little skirt here. I just loved this print. I thought this was so fun. It's double lined, so you don't have to worry about it being see-through at all. And so lightweight, so this is gonna be so good for those really hot days. We have another dress up next, and this is something kind of different for me. Pushing myself out of my comfort zone slightly. So this is actually a maxi dress, which I like never wear, but I felt really drawn to this. Uh, it is so lightweight, which I absolutely love. Again, it kind of has that ribbing going throughout, which adds a really nice texture. And again, just kind of versatile. I feel like this could very easily be going out to dinner, going out to brunch. Could probably even wear it to a wedding. Dress down with sneakers, dress up with heels. I'm just really excited to have this in my closet and really like push myself to wear it out somewhere. This is probably my other favorite top that I picked out. It's obviously a little wrinkly right now, needs steam. But it's a really cute little tie top. I love the lacy details. I just think this would be so cute and so fun to style with something like a little edgier, like maybe some leather pants or leather shorts to counteract the lacy details it's giving a cute little vintage vibe that i'm very into we definitely have another dress coming up here which is this adorable little lacy number i was just so drawn to this i love the little girly details obviously has this really cute lacy top and then this beautiful silky it's kind of giving like nightgown but acceptable to wear out of the house <laughs> It's just so dainty and girly. I'm so into it. These pants were just absolutely calling to me. They are these really pretty kind of cream colored knit pants. They're so soft. They are so stretchy, so very comfortable, but they actually look cute. So like acceptable to wear out of the house, but it'll feel like you are wearing pajamas, which is not always the dream, at least it is for me. We have finally reached our very last piece of clothing and it's this amazing moto jacket. Now I know this is like slightly off theme for the spring thing, but I just saw this and absolutely needed it. I think it's so cute. We also need to wear jackets in the spring, so you know, I think it's still acceptable. How amazing is this though? I love it so much. Seriously, one of my favorite things in this box. But it doesn't stop there. We still have a couple more things coming up here, starting with this belt that I got, really simple black belt, gold buckle. Just felt like a nice staple to have in my closet. And then I got two pairs of shoes because you guys know how much I love shoes. So first up are these really cute little white strappy heels. I don't have any white heels like this, so these just felt really nice for the summertime. Again, can definitely be casual, but can also be dressed up. And the straps are like the softest feeling material ever. So I think they're gonna be really comfortable, not like rub in an uncomfortable way. Actually very sensitive feet, so pretty picky about that. And these feel like they're gonna be perfect. And I got one other pair of sandals as well. They're these really fun kind of platform sandals. I loved them in this brown color with kind of the gold brassy hardware on them. I love the little bit of height that I'll get from them while still looking super casual and comfortable. And probably my favorite thing because I have pretty small narrow feet is that you can adjust the width of these straps by just kind of tacking down these straps a little tighter. So it gives a little versatility aside from just like the size of your foot, the length of your foot, but also the width of your foot to make sure they fit really, really well. So if you're a narrow foot girly like me, I feel like these are a really good option. But even if you're not, still a great option because you can also make them wider. Wow, we finally made it through this whole box. Actually, let me show you the size of this box because it is legit, no joke. Like look at the size of this thing, it is massive. When this box was being delivered, the delivery man called me and let me reenact how this went. Hi, I'm delivering your Princess Polly box. Oh, hi, sorry, I'm out right now, but I can let you know how to find my apartment. Oh no, that's okay, I found your apartment. I just didn't know where I should leave the box. Oh, you can just leave it right outside of my door. I'll be back soon. Um, okay, I just wanted to make sure because this is literally the biggest box of Princess Polly I have ever seen. Literally on the phone, I was like, what the heck? Oh my gosh, how big is this box? And it did not disappoint. Luckily, no one stole it. And on top of that, I was like, holy hell, I'm about to have so much fun. <laughs> And I truly did. I love every single piece that I got from them. They all fit amazingly. I'm going to have everything linked down below for you to check out. And again, I do have a discount code for 20% off, Jill20. So go treat yourself to something, you know? Like it's spring, we're all kind of revamping our closets a little bit. 
that was a lot of stuff you guys i don't even know how long this portion of the video is going to be but probably pretty long <laughs> and we're back team it's a couple hours later and our groceries just got delivered i was actually surprised we didn't need as much as i kind of thought that we might so it was a pretty light order. Thought I would do a little haul dose for stuff. We have some buns. This is for something that Connor's gonna make this week on the night that I'm out. Um, and we also got some chicken breast here. One of these we'll use for dinner tonight and the other for Connor's thing. He's gonna make fried chicken sandwiches for himself. Also got um, some locks as well as some crab meat so we could do a sushi night. Ow, we have not had sushi in a couple of weeks. So that's gonna be really good. Turkey meat as always. We were also out of Dijon mustard so got that and some buffalo sauce for Connor's sandwiches. We have feta, which we'll use in a Greek bowl. Two avocados here. Also got some cherry tomatoes. These are my favorite to get usually. Del Cabo cherry tomatoes. Um, I like just like that it's like mixed colors. However, recently not that many have been coming in this package, so I think I do need to switch it up. I really, my favorite ones to get in general are the Trader Joe's mini heirlooms. Those are so good. Also ordered a tomato, but got literally the smallest tomato in the world. <laughs> Look at this. It's so tiny compared to like this tomato, which I bought. <laughs> got arugula, got a zucchini, and two cucumbers, two different kinds, English and just a regular. And then some more mini sweet peppers to be snacking on. And that's the little haul. Sorry about all the background noise. Just the washing machine going. Just sat outside with Molly Cat for a little while though, which is really nice, but it is almost my 12 p.m. call now. So I'm gonna hop on that and then probably make lunch after. Just made myself a quick sandwich for lunch, but I was still hungry. So I made that like pepper and cucumber snack that's viral on TikTok right now. It is so good, you guys. I've been making this so often. Oh, I love it. I love eating it with the seaweed snacks from Trader Joe's. I do use a different kind of dressing though. I found this um, toasted sesame dressing at Trader Joe's, which tastes so good. I feel like it's very versatile. I want to make like some kind of like Asian noodles or something with it. I think that would be really good, but it is amazing on this snack. I highly recommend. Day's going well though. It's been productive. Um, still have more to do, but I should be able to wrap up by five, which is always the goal ultimately. <laughs> Hello friends, a long time at no talk. Actually when I think the last time that I spoke to you, I was, um, eating lunch and now I've just finished making dinner. So let me show you what I made So I had planned to make this crispy chicken chopped salad, which looks so good I'm actually so excited for this very proud of myself because I'm not a seasoned Chicken cooker does that make sense like not seasoning, but I'm not good at it or I, I don't know how anyway I think you know what I'm saying <laughs> but made this it looks so good But I was also craving some mac and cheese So I went ahead and made a side of mac and cheese for both me and for God Hello friends, it is the next day. It's currently 4.41 p.m. I had to go into the office today, but I am home now and just wrapping up some work on my laptop, but I wanted to open a little PR package with you guys. Molly Cat immediately on the box, like immediately. Oh, <laughs> really, you shouldn't have. <laughs> She's just like, hi, you want me to be in the clip with you? Hi, baby. Okay, boop, boop. I need to get in here now. So this is a package from a company called Jojo that reached out to me and asked if they could send me some of their cookie dough flavored whiskey, which I was very intrigued about. I'm typically not a big whiskey girl, but if there's one thing you should know about me is that I love peanut butter whiskey. I just love how it literally tastes like a spoonful of peanut butter when you have it. It's so good. So when they reached out to me, I was like, Hmm, if I like peanut butter whiskey, maybe I will like cookie dough whiskey. So they sent me this box, which by the way is so cute. I have to show you everything in here. It is quite large. And when the man, cause I had to sign for it since it has alcohol in it. When he dropped it off, he accidentally had the box slip out of his hand. And all we heard was like glass shattering. And I was like, oh my God, no, the whole thing broke. But it didn't, which is great. It must, it just kind of like moved out of its packaging a little. So that must've been what we heard. Anyway, random story time, there you go. For the sweet at home heart jojo cookie dough whiskey and look at all of this gorgeous stuff first of all these glasses are so beautiful i'm obsessed with them and here is the whiskey itself i also love that it's called jojo because that's my nickname with some of my friends so very into that also got this hat that says not your mama's nightcap oh no not your mama's nightcap there we go a little hat moment <laughs> love that um, also got these cute little Jojo stickers. This card game, it says a sweet and simple card game called Sar- Whoa, oh my god. My 
mind just stopped working. Strawberry Sunset. It says you can play with two to four people, so perfect. Connor and I can try this out on our own. It seems kind of cute. A cute little note from the brand here, and there's a discount code on here, Happy Dough 15 for 15% off if you guys are interested in trying this. And it looks like I got a cute tote bag with some adorable little pins. I mean, they really did it right. And then this looks amazing. Is this a cookbook or just like a, yeah, it is. It just has tons of different cookie recipes in it. So kind of a dream and also really beautiful and aesthetic. I feel like it would look good like up here. Love it. <laughs> so there you go. That is the PR that I had to open. Big, huge thank you to Jojo for sending this through to me. Should we try a little bit of this, Connor? You wanna try this with me? <laughs> It smells like cookie dough, legit. With mm. a hint of whiskey, but... Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good, honestly. Like, it, does it went taste, down very smooth. It does taste like it, so does it. Yeah, it definitely has that little chocolatey taste, and I feel like whiskey and chocolate, like, good combo, I'm pretty sure. So there you have it. That is JoJo Whiskey. Thank you for sending it. Much appreciated. Don't Maybe I'll be a whiskey girl now. Who knows? Okay, literally, I feel like that shot went straight to my head. <laughs> like, why am I suddenly a little tipsy off of like nothing? You know what I'm gonna have, I think? Although it is kind of late. I know, I know. It must be in my head, but I do feel kind of weird. Sometimes I feel like that can happen. Yeah, and I have not really been yeah. drinking a lot or yeah. eating a lot. And I have not had a shot probably in months. months. Probably like since my birthday. Are you the cutest girl in the world? Yeah, she is. My Uber is about to be here and I'm heading out to dinner. The gals have decided I'm going out with Kate and Vic and we have do, 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 we have decided to just be very casual today. So I literally am not touching on my makeup. I'm not getting changed. I'm not doing anything. We are just going, eating pasta and coming home. And that is the plan. I would have driven too because I don't plan on drinking more than like a glass of wine, but parking over there seems rough. So I'm just gonna save myself the trouble and Uber. Hello. Hello. How you doing, doing well, thank you. Cheers, ladies. Cheers. Yay. One. But, oh, Barbara. Oh, it does taste so good. Little bar. The Appies have arrived. We got a golden beet carpaccio with burrata, of course. And then this is a sea bream, sea bream, I think, um, carpaccio. Looks, no, not carpaccio, crudo. <laughs> it's okay. all carpaccio. Words are great. It's all carpaccio. Yeah, no, it's literally, I cannot keep up. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Well team, I am home and I am heading to bed. It is just about 10 p.m. right now. Got home maybe 40 minutes ago and I'm just so tired. So it is straight to bed for me. Dinner was pretty good. I wouldn't say Piccolo is like drop dead amazing. Like I don't really feel like I need to go back, um, but the prices were fairly reasonable and the food was good. Just good, not great, honestly. Another big thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video, and I will see you guys in my next one.